Pillow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what am I bringing to you today? Today I am bringing to you a recreation of one of my older projects that I did like two, two and a half years ago, and it is a new glue gun stand, glue gun stand 2.0. This glue gun stand, I love the design of it. It was a fun DIY. This was a subscriber request that I had done and it was inspired by the wood glue gun stands that you can get on Etsy. They're a bit pricey and they're not a DIY glue gun stand. If you tried to DIY it, you'd need a lot of tools that a lot of us don't have. And so that was where I came up with this glue gun stand. I'll link this video in the description box below. I'm warning you now though, the execution of this DIY is not the best. At the time I was new to YouTube and I was really just in the midst of creating and loved the challenge of it. And so the editing and the execution isn't the best. It's a bit of a longer video, but the outcome is great. I love this stand, but I have come out with a new amazing glue gun stand that's gonna cost you two, maybe $3, and it's using Dollar Tree items. And it's a bit more, I'd say, durable than this one here. And I think the outcome is great. It's a longer lasting glue stand. And this also was a subscriber request to asking if I would redo this. And if I had the chance to redo this, what would I do differently? That's what I'm showing you today. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you how I make a new durable, sturdy, hot glue gun stand using items from the Dollar Tree. And can you guess what items I'm using? Yes, the wood blocks. For this glue gun holder, you're gonna need three boxes of the towering tumble blocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree, a piece of felt, I'll be using these stickers from the Dollar Tree to embellish it. And you'll also need one of these mini frames because we'll be utilizing the glass inside of it. To glue my blocks together, I like to use Aileen's Tacky Glue. I've seen great results with this when I do my blocks projects. If you wanna use a wood glue, you can do that. This is just a budget-friendly alternative and it's a glue that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start off by gluing two rows of 15 blocks together. Once you've got your blocks glued together, if you take a ruler and just place it up against one side of your blocks and push your blocks up against the ruler, it'll give you a nice straight edge. And again, you want two rows of 15 blocks. Now I'm gonna take these five blocks and I'm gonna glue them vertically in between these two rows and you're gonna wanna put glue on both sides of the block. So you should be left with this, and if you have any glue that has spilled over, now would be the time to wipe it off. Now I'm gonna frame the outside of this. This is the base of the glue gun stand, and I'm framing this because I needed this to be a specific size so we don't have to alter or cut any of these blocks. Now that the base is done, you're gonna have a bit more gluing to do and we're gonna glue together 12 rows of four blocks each. And the last set of blocks that you're gonna glue together is two rows with three blocks in each. For this next step, which is completely optional, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory and truffle. And I'm gonna give my blocks a good coat of paint with both of these, giving them kind of a marbled look. Again, I said that this is completely optional because you really don't have to paint this. This is extra. I just wanted to decorate it to have it match the decor of my craft room. And so because I have paint already on hand, I decided to use what I have on hand and make it work. And so to do a marbled look, you're just gonna kinda add both colors to your paintbrush, which in my case is the ivory and the truffle. And you're not gonna wanna do too many brush strokes over the wood because you don't want the paint to blend. And so you can see that I'm just kinda slightly going over it, not blending the paint. And once I've got it applied, I'm gonna let it be and it really gives it that streak marbled look. 
I painted all 12 rows of four on the front and the back. For the base, I only painted the top and the sides. Didn't worry too much about the back because I'm gonna be covering the back with a piece of felt. And so I just got a coordinating color. To adhere the felt onto the bottom of my glue gun stand, I'm gonna use a Lean's Tacky Glue because I just feel like it's a flatter, smoother glue. It's gonna hold better. When you use hot glue, it's just not as flat and I feel like it's just a bit more bumpy. I just feel when you apply felt to something like this, it's just so much easier to apply the felt first and cut the excess off after it's been applied. My reasoning behind adding the felt is one, it finishes it off nicely, and two, it slides easily and you can put it on whatever surface and you're not gonna have to worry about it scratching it. So now that we've got all of our blocks painted on the front and back, we need to put this together now. And so we're gonna start off with three rows of four blocks and I'm gonna glue these three rows together side by side and I'm gonna do this twice now these two pieces that we just glued together are going to be the start of what is going to be the glue stick holder and so I'm gonna place glue on one edge and I'm gonna line it up with one of the top or the bottom edge of the base just like so now taking two rows of four blocks that aren't glued to anything, I'm gonna place some glue on three sides, the two sides and the bottom side. And I'm gonna place this on each side of the block panel that we just glued onto the base. And this is gonna be the last panel that will close off the bin that we will use to hold the glue sticks. The design of this glue gun stand is very similar to my old design, just using the wood blocks. We had two rows of three blocks. We're gonna glue these two blocks together on top of each other. And for the last four rows of four blocks, I'm gonna glue two of the rows together on top of each other. Now taking these three sets of blocks that I just glued together, I'm gonna actually glue all three of them together side by side, placing the shorter of the three in the middle. This is where the glue gun will actually be set on the stand. So this is what you should be left with. I'm gonna place some glue on the bottom edge of these set of blocks. Now before placing this down, you wanna be sure and leave enough space for the glass from this frame because that glass is what's gonna catch the glue that drips from your gun. I'm gonna decorate the stand just a bit more. This is optional. It doesn't need to be included in the price of what it costs to actually make this. These are stickers that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree that I've been saving for a day like today when I didn't know I was gonna need them and these work perfect for this DIY. I love the colors and the theme of these stickers. It goes perfectly with the chalk paint that I've chosen to paint this stand with. I'm gonna put this butterfly right under where I'm gonna put the glass. And so I'm using the Aileen's glue because I don't want this to be bumpy. I want it to be as flat as it can be because I'm gonna take the glass from this frame and I'm gonna hold on to the rest of this frame for a later DIY. Using some hot glue, I'm gonna place just a dot of hot glue on each of the corners. Then I'm just gonna place it right on top of the butterfly. I figured this would be a perfect spot for this dream sticker where the glue sticks will be held. And because there's more stickers in this set, why not add a couple here on the back end of this stand? I gotta say it. This glue gun stand turned out so stinking cute. I love the outcome of this using the Dollar Tree wood blocks. This is such a durable glue stand. And again, it's one of those DIYs that is such a versatile piece that could be done to suit any decor style. Use your imagination, get creative with it, and make it your own. And there you have it. I gotta be honest, I like this one so much better than the other one. This one can be made to suit any
anybody's style. You can paint it. There are endless possibilities when designing and decorating these. And like I said before, if you really don't want to do anything to it and you just want to leave it with the raw natural blocks, you can do that as well. You can stain it. Endless, endless possibilities. And I think that this glue gun stand is going to last a lot longer than this one because the more I use this one, the more the cardboard started to bend and it just didn't hold as well. But I will tell you that this one did last me two years. And so uh, it's a win-win even if you have to redo it because this cost under $5 to make anyway. But I am loving the wood one. I think the wood one is gonna last for years and years and it can be repainted and redesigned if I needed it to be. And so I hope you all enjoyed today's recreation of my hot glue gun stand. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.